So this is a story of the kind of drama that happens in a fish tank, a 55-gallon fish tank. Here we are, they're fishing in the morning. It's a normal morning. They're here and they got up and uh, I'm about to feed them. You know, so, you know, and then we uh, we'll see the bottle sharks up next. There we are, picking away at the pool. And they're all calm and just relaxed. The whole fish tank is relaxed. But then trouble starts. My three clownfish start harassing and bullying um, Leonardo. And they even chase him out of his little house. So, luckily, I have this fish, who his name is Severus. And he's basically the overseer of the whole tank. He makes sure everybody's fins are in order and that nobody does any bullying except him. But he checks on everybody, makes sure everybody is okay, makes sure there's no riots going on, there's no checking the fish out right there. So, he saves the day. And so, here's Leonardo back in his house. He's thinking that those three clowns shouldn't have done what they did. And he's coming up with a plan. He's going to go and do something to the areas. He's going to invade their house and see how they feel about it. And they got very upset and excited. They couldn't get in their house and Leonardo wasn't leaving. They got so ex uh, you know, commotion that all the ball sharks came to see what was going on. The whole tank was upset. Even the shy and timid um, Ziggy and the clown and see what was happening. He was so curious and yet he was still afraid. It was tempting them. He was thinking about him. And no matter how much the clownfish tried, they couldn't get Leonardo out. They tried and tried and never getting so frustrated and excited. Nothing they did was working. Nothing. So they decided, let's go get Severus. So Severus comes to see what's going on. Nobody argues with Severus, and you know, he's just checking everything out and he's putting things back in order. He's going to get things all back in order, just like he always does. Just about that time, when everything was over, Ziggy had enough courage to come out and see what was going on. And even though everything was over, at least he got himself down. So here he is coming. But then he realizes that uh, Leonardo was out. And Leonardo was right by him at his house. So Ziggy went back in his house and was so scared, he started shaking like a leaf. But after a while, came on took a peek to see if everything was clear and safe. And it was. The tank was back in order again. And yet, he was still afraid. And he was trying to figure out what he could do. He thought of Mr. Catfish and invited Mr. Catfish to come and stay with him because he always felt safer when Mr. Catfish was around. So Ziggy was happy now. He felt safe, Mr. Catfish there. He thought life was going to be good from now on. Everything was going to be perfect and happy forever. But then reality 
sit somewhere. And things weren't quite as perfect as he thought it was going to be. Things, in fact, were getting a little too cozy. But I guess as they were, they were both happy. Because this is how they live for now.